Well, we wanted to create a product for a high-end empty nester that was more urban in context than what existed in the suburbs of New Hope. We wanted to create a community. We wanted there to be sidewalks. We wanted there to be street lights. We wanted the houses to face a pocket park as opposed to a cul-de-sac. And we wanted to not emphasize the auto, but rather the pedestrian. So we wanted people to have the car access in the rear. We had this vision of having a, a metal artist design these custom, very elaborate, one-of-a-kind gates that when you approach when your car would just open and welcome you in. What really surprised us, and we absolutely love to this day, is the different architecture, the different types of materials, the aesthetics inside, as well as the exterior, are just absolutely beautiful. We were looking for a small community that would still allow us accessibility to town and kind of let us know our neighbors. Uh, we know just about everybody who's moved in, there will only be 37 homes. So we really do expect that it will become the village that we were looking for. It seems everyone that's been interested in this place, uh, they're really nice people. We have very nice neighbors, very dependable. So one of the things that really differentiate the community is the size of the townhouse. The width of 42 feet is shocking for a townhouse. And because the interiors are designed to be open and the spaces flow and communicate with each other, it feels even larger. Some people have asked, were we downsizing? The answer is absolutely not, because our middle unit is uh, 3,900 square feet just between two floors. You truly do feel like you are in a full home. We had never really in all of our searching run into a builder who really ever said to us, what would you like? And that was really one of the first questions that we were asked about Rabbit Run. As far as customization goes, it's essentially a blank slate if you want it to be. The builder is very accommodating about that, as is the architect. They're, they're willing to work with you, come up with a plan, and they listen. We made sure that we plan the house with a private elevator. And this elevator goes to all levels of the house. And that took away the need to put a master suite on the first floor. And as a result, the first floor just flows and fills over. Many of the other places we looked at were vertical living without that feature. It made a difference in our decision. Rabbit Run is successful because it's the right product for today. I find a high-end buyer typically has a second home or uh, a desire to travel a lot, and they want a lifestyle change where they can lock the door and just take off, and somebody else is taking care of the maintenance of their home and their community. Uh, we're just able to enjoy life and spend so much more time in the activities that we, we choose rather than cutting the grass and pulling weeds. We absolutely love being in New Hope and being able to walk or bike to town. We love being close to the Delaware River and just all that New Hope uh, offers. So in addition to having New Hope, we have right across the river an easy walk across the bridge in Lambertville which is chock full of shops and restaurants and unfortunately antique, antique stores. Shops. Uh, and so there's, there's a lot of interesting things to do on both sides of the river. We are extremely pleased with our decision to move to Rabbit Run. It is only 37 units here. A number of them are already taken. There are some really nice ones still available, but I think you will never regret your decision if you were to buy here. So Rabbit Run is a very forward-thinking community. It's the exact product that we want to deliver to the market. When we look around the Philadelphia suburbs, we don't find a product like this. So it, we're really leading the market and we are seen as a developer who's doing a product that frankly they can't find anywhere else. And that's fun. We like that.